Now let's talk about ovulation because I think there's a lot of misconceptions amongst women when it comes to understanding when they're ovulating and what it means. Mm -hmm. So how many days per month are women actually able to become pregnant? So um, you're actually fertile between day eight and 19 of your period. Okay. So your period consists basically of uh, 28 days mm -hmm. if we do an average, right? And then the half, at the half point of that 28 days, which is 14 days, is when ovulation happens, right? However, um, there's many days before that and after that that you can get pregnant. One, um, if there is any semen in the fallopian tubes mm -hmm. when uh, ovulation occurs, then you're going to get pregnant, okay. even though you had sex before you ovulated. Um, and the same thing happens afterwards. Because that semen stated. can live in? For three days. For three days. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Three to five days. Now, we see so, so many of these ovulation thermometers, mm -hmm. and now you're seeing apps mm -hmm. as well. And I can attest to this, because I remember trying to get pregnant, I had the app as well. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, now I'm thinking about it, it doesn't really make any sense. It's not really tied into your body. It's just telling you correct. when you can possibly ovulate. So we can take this for fact, correct? Mm -hmm. um, so yes, everybody's cycle is different. Um, mm -hmm. Most of these apps just take an average of a uh, normal cycle or your cycles in the past. Okay. Um, they're not that effective if you if your body's not the complete normal. So mm -hmm. if you have a little bit of bleeding in between periods, you're not really sure when you ovulate it, right. then it's not gonna work for you. This is one misconception I do wanna clear up because you were mentioning that it starts, your period starts, you count ovulation from the day your period begins or ends? Begins. Begins. So day one of your cycle is when your period starts. And even if it's a light flow, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, yeah. You it's count that first, day as first day. You count and that as first day. And then 14 days after that, you ovulate. Okay. Um, it depends on, it doesn't depend on whether you're still bleeding or not, mm -hmm. um, because sometimes you ovulate and there's still some bleeding happening, which is why we tell people or girls and women who are becoming sexually active that the fact that they are bleeding doesn't mean that they cannot get pregnant.